If you haven't had an opportunity to watch the series premiere of Constantine, stop listening now, major spoilers, here we go. Today's October 24th, 2014. It's 11.06 here in Hawaii. That's 11.06 p.m. here in Hawaii. And I just finished watching the uh, first episode, the pilot episode um, of Constantine, and I was very impressed, man. Give it a rating of 8.5 out of 10 stars. The episode title was called Ninest Asylum. Here's a little synopsis of what the episode was about. With his soul damned to hell, demon hunter and master of the occult, John Constantine decides to walk away from his fight against evil until a friend's daughter needs his help. 2005, we had Keanu Reeves in the role of John Constantine on the big screen, along with Rachel Wise as Angela Dodson. Constantine 2014, we have... Excuse me, I'm sorry about that. That was a uh, motorcycle um, in my neighborhood. Uh, this is live. That's what we do on podcasts. In 2014, we have Matt Ryan starring as John Constantine, and we have Lucy Griffiths, Griffiths um, starring as Liv Aberdeen, and then uh, Harold uh, uh, Peruni, or Peruna um, as Manny, who is an angel. Okay. Now, the reason why I just named off those three characters, those are the best characters on the screen for Constantine, the TV show. And when you're trying to compare Keanu Reeves' performance to Matt Ryan, um, I, I think that you can't even put them in the same boat because one's using an English accent, one is using an American accent. Um, one is not smoking cigarettes, another is smoking cigarettes. One plays with a lighter, the other one plays with a lighter. But they're just two totally different um, variations of the character. And um, the Rachel Wise character and the Lucy Griffiths character, I think that they are so similar. And obviously, maybe because of the, um, you know, comic book source material we're talking about from the actual comic books of John Constantine and the Hellraiser, Hellblazer, whatever that thing is called. I, I think that that's the reason why it looks so similar, man. Um, from what I understand, also, this... Um, Lucy, um, actor, her character Liv is going to be cut out of the series, um, or they're going to just, I don't know, stop talking about her storyline and go into something new starting, um, with next week's episode, um, which is episode two. Um, I loved every single thing about the episode. I loved how, how I guess adult it was. It was grounded in reality. I guess it almost has the same feel and vibe of Man of Steel. And I, I think I'm going to go ahead and just, just say that from now on. I think Man of Steel set the the standard. And then with Gotham, Arrow, The Flash. The Flash is kind of kitty, but I mean, it still has, you know, it's moments where it's really grounded in reality and looks like Man of Steel. It does have some happy moments, though. But that is the standard. That's the DC comic format. That's the palette they're going to be using and I think it just it just looks good, man. Um, I, I was upset a little bit with the CGI, especially after watching Sci-Fi's Dominion. If you watch Sci-Fi's Dominion and you saw what they were able to do with the angel wings and just how real everything looked on a sci-fi TV show, which is very rare because sci-fi just they just spend their money. They don't really care about if it looks real or not. They just do it. Um, even Defiant Season 2 really surprised me because I was like, wow, Defiant Season 1 was really awesome. And then Defiant Season 2, it looked really fake. Um, <laughs> I mean, Defiant Season 1 looked fake too, but we're just saying. If Dominion can do really great Angel Wings, then I'm pretty sure that Constantine and NBC can, can do something and get something together. Um, I will say this. It looks like they're starting to try to compete with Sleepy Hollow. That's kind of like the vibe I got with, you know, next week's episode when they're trying to have, you know, John Constantine in this relationship with some woman that's coming up. And I, I don't really know who she is. They just showed a real quick preview. Um, but I think that they need to just, you know, st steer the course and stay on course and stay set to whatever you're trying to do with this show, man. And don't get too lost in it. OK, just just you're, you did good tonight. Um, it's going to be scary. It's going to be spooky. It's going to be something that we've never seen before because um, I've never seen half of the stuff on there. I was like, wow, that's that's crazy. Uh, what I love about the episode tonight was just getting to know John Constantine, his character. Um, I guess knowing more about him because I'm familiar with the character, but not that much. You know, um, I guess I'm <laughs> I guess I've watched uh, Keanu Reeves and in, in his um, Constantine movie. I don't know, probably maybe a 100 times and. 
I, I really, I really loved everything about it. They had the uh, occult symbolism. They had the um, numerology. They had everything that you could think of, man. Um, if you're into that stuff, if you've ever studied that, I mean, you're going to be interested in the show. The only bad thing is, is that, and and here's an example. I don't know the demographics they're trying to reach. Obviously, I think it's probably between like, I don't know, um, 18 years old all the way up to probably like 32, 33, maybe 34, 35. But my my dad was like, this is horrible. This is crap. And he fell asleep while watching Constantine. So, yeah. <laughs> so I guess it's just not something that people are going to catch on. And and the reason why is that if that was the first episode, which I don't I don't think it was the first episode. It didn't feel like a pilot episode. It felt like we were actually stuck in the middle of something, like starting something from episode like four or five or maybe even the series finale. It, it was just there was too much stuff, man, too much stuff on screen. Um, and that was my only only complaint besides the bad CGI, man. Um, I'm going to go back and, I, and I'll, I'll try to walk through some things and, and, and do a more in-depth uh, podcast, man. But let me continue on. If you're a Smallville fan, and I'll probably mention this again in the next uh, podcast. If you're a Smallville fan, you are going to be very happy on this. And I don't want to put, you know, spoilers in here, but... <laughs> You'll notice some things inside this episode. Two things you should know if you're a Smallville fan. Because there's some Justice League... Yeah, there's some Justice League stuff in there. And maybe that's because of the Justice League Dark situation. I don't know if that's going to actually get made or what's going on with that. But there's some definitely nods to Smallville, nods to Justice League Dark, nods to a few characters. Um, and I really, really enjoyed that, man. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. I'm going to stop here, and then after that, we'll have just in-depth... Uh, conversation about it and, and see where it goes right here thanks again for watching